Okay, so I'm just waiting for a couple of people to join on in, and then we're going to get going. I am excited, you all, because I went over to the post office today and actually got quite a bit of packages. Um, here, let me just give you a bit of a sneak peek here. We have these. <laughs> and then there's some on this side. And then I've got a whole bunch of packages on my desk down here, as well as right over here. So we're going to definitely open up some of these. Hi, Diana. Welcome. I'm happy you're here. <laughs> yeah, and if you're joining, um, say hi in the chat so that way I know that you're here. <laughs> you're welcome, Diana. So I've got 26 packages to open up today. And I'm really excited to do it. This is going to probably be the last live unboxing um, that I'm going to do because, well, we're wrapping up and... <laughs> yes, I did get your package today. I absolutely did. And we're going to open it up. As a matter of fact, I think it's... I know that I saw it. It's in here. Hi, Maureen from Connecticut. <laughs> Hi, Percy. I got, I think I have your package as well. I think I saw that one come through too. Hi, I'm back. So I'm happy you're back. So you all, um, I want to, let me just start out and say that I'm really excited that you all have just turned up in such a big way. Okay, Linda, I'm going to keep an eye out for it. Um, you know, and it's, I have a letter actually that I wanted to share with you all in a little bit. Um, but first, a couple of announcements. So I'm going to be doing this unboxing. It's going to be the last one. And then on Sunday, which is October 3rd, I'm going to go ahead and do the um, kind of the results video, tell you where we actually end up, like numbers wise. You guys are going to be excited about that one because my heart just like, <laughs> just thinking about it. And then um, I'm actually going to do a photo collage of the different photos that have been submitted. Hi, Cheryl. So I'm really excited about that. Um, so before I actually get into opening the boxes here, I wanted to read with you all an email that I actually received. And I'm not going to share this person's name. Um, but it was such a touching email to me. And I thought that it would be really nice to share because it's really the reason why we are all making dresses for these little girls who really don't have anything to their name, um, let alone beautiful new dresses, right? So this person, and I'm just going to read, so bear with me if I'm not looking at the screen. Um, she says... My parents grew up very poor in large families in Europe. My mother would tell the story of owning one dress and how my grandmother would wash it at night with hopes of having it dry by the morning. Sometimes it wasn't. She had five sisters and six dresses in all. My mother taught me how to sew. We collected fabric and patterns. Some of the dresses sent to you used some of those pieces. So when you posted about your project I was in, it's been a while since I've sewn, but to honor the memories of my mom and dad, I sent on my 10 little dresses. Now, isn't that just the most touching story? And, and I'm happy that I got this message because it really does kind of bring home that even though we've grown up with so much and and maybe you haven't but the majority of us here in the US have have full clo full closets filled with clothing right and to know that we're impacting people who are in the same situation in such a positive way we're helping to give them you know just that that boost, right? To help them feel good about themselves, to tell them that they're deserving of dignity and respect. I mean, to me, that's what this is all about. And I mean, the added bonus of having to, yes, Aunt Bex, you're right. It's a full circle, right? 
having, you know, the actual families be educated about human trafficking is just the icing on the cake for me. So I guess with keeping this story in mind and knowing what kind of good we're doing, hi Sheila, let's go ahead and open some of these boxes because there's a lot and I want to get through these pretty quickly with you all. As soon as I find my scissors. Okay, so this first package here is from Miss Annette from California. Hi, Marlene. I'm happy that you're back. Okay. So, ooh, little thank you sticker on the front. You all, look how cute that is with the little hearts on the fabric and the heart pockets. This looks like one of Thoughtful Creativity's A-line dresses. Super adorable. And there's a, <laughs> like she made a, she put my name on the actual card. Thank you. <laughs> and then let's take a look at this one. Oh, here's another one with little butterflies. How adorable. Thank you so much. And these both need labels. They go in the label pile. All right. The next one is from Miss Carmen from Pennsylvania. Oh, I see some sparkly stuff in here. You know, I'm a sucker for the sparkles. Anybody else a sucker for sparkles? <laughs> no, just me. <laughs> okay, so we've got more of Thoughtful Creativity's dresses and this cute little yellow. Isn't that the happiest color you all? Oh, look, there's a couple of them too with different pockets. <laughs> Those are adorable. There's three, I think, in total. Wow, Miss Carmen, these are beautiful. Yeah, I can't wait for September of 2022 as well. But please, Marlene, let me get through this year first. <laughs> oh, you all, so this is a first. Look, she actually included a cute little skirt. Um, so my ambassador here in Maryland, she's always happy to take any additional items and send them along to orphanages and um, the mission trips that people go on. So this will definitely come in handy. <laughs> and then look, there's one with that skirt attached to an actual bodice. How adorable. And this is the one that had the little sparkles on it. I don't know if you can tell. Let me fix my light. No, I don't, I don't know if it's picking up, but. Okay, so all of these need labels. Thank you so much, Miss Carmen. So, okay, um, this one does not have a name on it. And so if you're watching, let me know if this is your little dress or not. Well, I, I know I said or not, but if you're watching, just let me know if it's yours, okay? <laughs> All right, so this is, oh, it's adorable. Little black daisies with the pink on the pockets. Really cute. Oh, you guys are, I'm gonna be putting in some long hours tonight sewing on labels. I'm excited about that. Okay, so this is from Miss Joan from Michigan. Miss Joan likes tape, similar to my mother. Let's open this up. Okay, let's see if that'll do it. Oh. And you know that, and by the way, Linda, Sunday's your birthday. <laughs> and you've got some really great plans to sew additional dresses. Well, happy early birthday. I hope that 
you have an amazing time and really I hope that you I hope that you celebrate all month long <laughs> oh look at that this one has little cat pockets on bird fabric you know how apropos it's like <laughs> you think he's got his eye on a couple of them birds <laughs> and it ties at the top how cute is that and I think this I, I think I remember these I think this other one is also another cat one let me see no it's not okay <laughs> we've got green oh this one actually has oh no okay I'm lying really big old pockets <laughs> that cat pocket is really fun you know part of me wonders if that's like one of those photos that you can have printed on fabric I wonder if that's her cat <laughs> so much fun okay um Percy, I think this one's yours from North Carolina. You think I would have learned from last time to get some box cutters or something. Okay, so we've got We've got a packed box here. Wow. So this is Miss El Else Elsie. Look at these dresses, you all. So I saw these come across. I can't tell you how many times I saw these because when I was making the collage, these kept dropping. So I have to. I had to keep putting them back in. But how adorable are these? And they're more of the um, thoughtful creativity dresses. Oh, and you guys look, my favorite fabric, that ladybug fabric. Where do you guys get this stuff from? I need some ladybug fabric in my life. Oh, good, Percy, I'm happy that is you. I thought it was. Oh, and I think all of these actually have labels. Yeah, they do. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, gosh. So you all, I really love the way she kind of hacked the pattern and played with the direction of the stripes. <laughs> Your sister's in law school. <laughs> awesome. Look, this one has silver sparkles in it. Okay, I'm going to stop trying to show you all the sparkles because it's not showing up. But trust me, they're in there. <laughs> and look, for all the cat lovers, there's more cat fabric. And look, the double ruffle, how? Percy, you did your thing. Oh, oh, Joanne, hey! Oh, my, my sister-in-law from New Jersey joined us. Welcome, Joanne, I'm happy you're here. That's funny to that, that I didn't recognize you. Look how cute, with the heart pockets you all, they kind of blend right in there. But how adorable are they? And rose fabric. <laughs> and then we also have this one. It looks like she played with the lines on this one as well. Percy, you really, you did a beautiful job on these. Oh my gosh. This one reminds me of Easter. I don't know, maybe it's the pastels. It just seems so fun. And by the way, if you guys are having fun checking out these dresses, please give me a thumbs up and show me a little bit of love. <laughs> and then there's this one. You, Joanne, I agree. These heart pockets are amazing. Okay, so these all have labels. And I don't have a spot to put them. Oh, here, I'll put them here. Okay, so this package is from Miss Rose from Michigan. Oh, thank you for the message, Miss Rose. She saran wrapped this one. <laughs> Thank you for all the messages, by the way. I really do read these, and then I put them all on my inspiration board. Oh, uh, look at these pockets, you all. Look at that. 
I don't I don't even know how that's possible. I guess that's a fancy pleat, but that is really cute. And actually, this feels like it's really substantial fabric. That's gonna keep a nice. That's gonna keep a girl really warm. And then there's this one with the polka dots. <laughs> These are the sundresses. Look at look at how she actually applied the trim to the pockets. I'm gonna keep, you guys have some of the best ideas. And you know what? The best thing about getting these dresses here is that I get to inspect them and take some ideas from your dresses and implement them into my clothing plans. <laughs> and then look at this beautiful one right here with those same pleated pockets. Oh, these are great. Thank you so much. And these all have tags on them. Okay. Okay, so this is from Shenan Shenandoah Alchemy Soapery. So this is my neighbor out in Virginia. I'm in Maryland, so not too far. Well, actually, it's a couple hours away, but not bad. Awesome. Five, oh, she packaged this nicely. I'm wondering if this is how her soaps come. Oh, I have to check her out. Okay. You all, so these dresses, I saw them and I just thought that they were the best um, use of like fabric matching. I have no idea how she came up with these combinations, but I fell in love with them. Let me show you. So we have this one, which is a reversible one. And look at that pocket on there with the binding on the bottom. How beautiful. And then look, the underside is actually roses. So it's kind of like two dresses in one for a little girl, which is, I mean, really handy, I would imagine, especially for children who are in orphanages. Um, you know, it's they have very little belongings. Um, does this need a label? I did not check. Nope. Yay. And then there's this one. It's a bigger size. Aren't they beautiful? And look, she um, did the tie closure in the back with bows. How gorgeous. Let me just slip that into the pocket before I lose that. These were the um, dresses. Well, not yet. They're coming up. Here's another one, just like the last. Look at the, look at the fabrics. Like, doesn't that just really match because of the tones? They're all the same colors. These are beautiful. These are so beautiful. These are the ones that I had my eye on, you all. Look at that with the ruffles, but look at all of the different fabrics that she paired with this one dress. And they all work so beautifully. And then look, the back has a tie. Isn't that amazing? And I know that you guys can't see it, but this, well, maybe you can. That's like a shimmery gold on the actual fabric. Oh man, that is, you are, you will. <laughs> I feel so inspired by your makes. And then there's this one right here with the green and the pink. I would have never thought about this combo, but it works. And especially with that bow in the back. Oh. These little girls are going to be looking great. Okay, so this is from Miss Darlene in Maryland. So Miss Darlene is near me. And actually, I think she had joined a couple of the chat um, sewing Zooms that we had planned. I don't know if you guys were able to join in on those, but they were really fun. We had a couple of Zoom sessions where we just kind of got together sewed our dresses and chatted the entire time. We had a couple of guest appearances. So um, the president from Hope for Women International who runs. Yeah, they are pretty fashionable. Rachel from Hope for Women International. She runs Dress a Girl around the world. She joined and answered a whole lot of questions. My local ambassador came out.
Yes, Percy's fabric selections were amazing. Oh, here's a, who was this from? Oh, Miss Darlene, Miss Darlene, I'm sorry. So Miss Darlene made some sundresses and look, she put applique on the pockets. You see that, the little butterflies with the floral fabric, how cute. And then she also included some undies for the little girls in the pockets. You know, maybe you can let me know. One of the questions that I received a lot this year around was actually from people who don't sew and they wanted to get involved. And one of the ways that I was thinking for maybe next year was to um, ask them to consider donating underwear, maybe headbands or hair accessories too. Let me know what you think about that idea or if you have other ideas for non-sewists to get involved in Project Dress a Girl for next year. And then look, here's another one. With, oh, look at this. The heart pockets are like, there's two heart pockets. So it's kind of like four pockets. These are beautiful, darling. Thank you. And I think these need labels. Nope, no labels. No labels needed. You think undies is a great idea, Christine? Oh, um, so this one's from Gisela from Gisela. You are, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your names. I think it's Gisela from North Carolina. I'm sorry, it was beautifully wrapped and I just butchered it. <laughs> um, but look, <laughs> you all, wow. So, oh, so, okay. You think, okay, that's good. So maybe, maybe undies is the way to go next year. Um, so Sedena Patterns actually did a tutorial on a different variation of the sundress. Um, so like a pillowcase dress, but with um, ribbons or bias tape. So it looks like these are some of Tommy's dresses that he said I made. So beautiful. And it looks like we have two of the polka dotted ones, one with blue straps and one with red. It ties over one shoulder. Um, oh, these are gorgeous. Uh, let's see, let's see. This one's a bit of a larger one with floral fabric, the red hearts and red tape. <laughs> These are beautiful. And then we have, oh, another one. You know, and I'll say this as well, like he said I made quite a bit of dresses here, um, but really you all, there are people who've made 20, 25 dresses, and then there's people who made one. But you know what? Even with just one dress, that's one little girl that you're making a difference for. So every, every little dress counts. Um, we've got blue with red pockets, and there's two of these. <laughs> I, you guys, I, I'm partial to the heart pockets. I really love those. Oh, and look at this beautiful fabric. Ah, I can't wait to show you. You see that? Wow. I love this. I love this fabric and it's nice and thick. Um, I think these need labels. So these are going in the need labels pile. <laughs> okay, so this is from Miss Alice from New York. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. <laughs> oh, this is really nicely packaged too. Thank you for the card. 
Okay, so we have a size 7 dress. Let me take this off for a second. <coughs> Look at that fabric. <coughs> Ooh. Beautiful. Um, and I don't think this has a label. No, so I'll add one. And then we also have a size 10 dress. Mmm. How special is this fabric? Isn't that beautiful? You know, this sundress right here actually reminds me of um, when I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, when I was a real little girl, I remember there was a chain link fence um, right in our front yard. And there was this guy across the yard from us who had this most amazing garden. And I would always like try to get my little hands in between the chain link fences and grab flowers. And they were flowers like this. So beautiful. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Almost lost the size. Okay, let's come this way. Oh, this one's a heavy one. So this is from Miss Luce in California. This one feels like it's, it's a packed one. So let me know, um, I, I've seen a lot of Elisa's dresses, the Thoughtful Creativity A-line dresses, um, but let me know if there, was, if there were other dresses that you really liked sewing or, you know, if I should make a recommendation that's a little different for next time. You <laughs> Did I say who that was from? Yes, that was from Miss Luce. Okay, so Miss Luce was busy. Oh, look, you all. She has a little, she made little coordinating bags with underwear inside. How sweet. So we've got some sundresses. Oh, that's really, that's really sweet. And then dragonfly fabric with a little coordinating bag that matches all of the bias tape. Christine, I agree. I think this bag idea is extremely smart. There's two of these dragonfly ones. Like this is a little tiny one. <laughs> oh, so cute. And then here's another one with a bag and a darker blue. Look at how sophisticated that looks. It's like, oh, we're gonna have some very regal looking girls walking around. I love it. Here's another one with a bag. I know, Joanne, right? Isn't that bag a great idea with the little undies? Smart. She was onto something. And then here's another one. This is a green one with a little bag. And I like that she um, safety pinned them because there's no chance of me mixing them up. And then look at the detail on that pocket there. Super cute. Thank you so much, Luce. I'll be happy to put labels on all of them for you. This one's from Miss Sheila from Oregon. So I may have missed it, but did any of you all have favorite patterns that you were using other than thoughtful creativity and maybe that sundress? Oh, look at, 
This one's for a big girl. Love it. You know, my um, ambassador here actually told me that um, although there are fewer donations for her, for the smaller and larger sizes, like at both ends. Oh, this one's cute. Look at that fabric, that purple floral fabric with the pink lining. Adorable. Um, well, she was saying that even though she gets fewer of those donated, that um, those tend to be the ones that last a little longer. Like babies don't really wear through there. The peasant dress from Scattered Thoughts of a Crafty Mom. I, you know, I, I've seen that one come across quite a bit. So she gets fewer of the sizes on both like the really small ones and the really larger dresses. And uh, she was saying that it kind of works out. It all kind of balances out because the babies don't really wear through their dresses as quickly and neither do the older girls because they tend to keep better care of their clothing. But it's the middle aged children that really kind of put a beating on their clothing and so they end up needing more of those. Yeah, I, I like the thoughtful creativity one too. I think she drafted a very beautiful dress. Look at this one with the shoulder ties. It gathers. Isn't that fabric beautiful? I would also think they grow quicker in that middle size. I mean, I, I don't know. My kid's only four and he's my only one, but that's my thought on it. Um, I missed that last comment. Something about a tutorial. I'll have to go back and take a look at it. They do grow quickly. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. This is, oh, this is from Kandra from Upper Marlboro. She's one of my sew sisters up here. Look at this green one she made. Isn't that adorable? Kandra also has a um, YouTube channel here um, called I Can Sew. Um, she's, you know, getting going, but... She did talk about her dresses on her channel as well. Look at this fabric. <laughs> so cute. This one, I believe, needs a label. Okay. And then look at this puppy dog one. <laughs> and it has a ruffle at the bottom. Oh, how adorable. This one already has a label. And then we have this one that has the Hawaiian flowers on it. And this is one of those um, peasant dresses, I believe. Do I know the complete age range? Um, so since a lot of these end up at orphanages, I think the, um, the age range that they try to dress our babies um, up to size 14. Um, which I think would equate with a 14-year-old. However, um, since a lot of these dresses do go to other countries, like, um, well, they go to other continents, like South America and Africa, um, they say that the children tend to be on the more petite side. So, like, a size 14 U.S. could actually fit an adult there. So that's, that's maybe something to keep in mind. Look at that one. Thank you, Miss Kandra. And these all have labels. Woo! This one is from Miss Linda, also from Maryland. Oh, so you were able to convert the zipper? That's great. Yeah, um, I know Jen with Today and Jen's Sewing Room, she did a, um, she converted hers into a keyhole, and then I've seen other people do bow ties across the back. Oh, you all, look at this. Look at the detail in that neckline. And well, in that little, oh gosh, what's this called? I'm drawing a blank now. Um, yeah, in this little part. <laughs> look how cute that is. 
<laughs> Help me out if you know the word of that. I, I just, I, I'm drawing a complete blank. Um, the placket? No, it's a trim in the placket, right? Is that a placket? <laughs> <laughs> hi, hi, Stitch Treasures. And then look at this one. You all, look at the back here. Oh, she actually attached Velcro. How beautiful. Oh, we've got really nice brown flowers with the orange. <laughs> it's a really cute bodice, I agree. And then we've got the stripes. And then look at the bottom. <laughs> it matches the pocket. And I think all of these need labels. Oh, here's another one with that lace trim. Yoke! Thank you. Yeah, Stitch Treasures. That's what it is. You're so right. Thank you. Oh, you want look strawberries. You see those little strawberries? <laughs> and I like how she added the little bias and the yoke there. Isn't that gorgeous to match the pockets and kind of bring it all together? Clever. And then we have the pink and the blue. There, there's a lot of dresses in here. I don't know. Wow, I'm gonna have to add these to the tally tonight. I don't think I saw them on. Okay, <laughs> look at that. I agree, it's all the little tiny details, all of the little trim, the matching bias. It really makes a huge difference in these dresses, doesn't it? Look at that, little side pockets. And this, this one has a bit of gold in it. Oh, adorable. And then this is her last one. How cute is that? Oh, I love them all. Thank you so much. Okay, so this next one is from Susan from Oregon. Is anyone here from outside of the U.S.? Um, I think Marlene is, but anyone else? Oh, how sweet. So we've got little bunnies on this one. Can you see the little rabbits? <laughs> oh my gosh, that is just the sweetest thing. And then we've got a bigger girl dress. And the ruffles, I know, isn't it? <sighs> you all, these dresses. Doesn't it feel good to sew from your stash or even if you did go out and buy fabric and you know, know that it was going for charity? Let me know in the chats if you were actually sewing everything from your stash. Okay. I agree. I agree, Christine. I see a lot of crumbles I'd like to wear, too. Okay, so we have this floral one. Hang on here. Oh, did I tell you who this was from? This one's from Miss Shannon in Pennsylvania. Thank you, Miss Shannon. How do you not have a stash? I want to know what your secret is. <laughs> I like the slanted pockets too, Delilah. <laughs> Look at this one with the little cherries. 
She put a little note that said it needs a label. Let me check to see if this one does. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just add labels to all of them. You know, I was lucky. I have a local friend here who actually volunteered to help sew on labels, which was huge. And then here's another little cherry dress. Look at the stripes on those pockets, though. Wow, Aunt Bex, you used 25 yards from your stash? Oh, that's your secret. Jay Manone, you're a beginner sewer. Well, let me tell you, that zero stash isn't going to last very long. <laughs> nope. <laughs> How long have you all been storing fabric? I mean, I think that I really accumulated the majority of mine. Um, gosh, probably in the past five years, to tell you the truth. I've been sewing for about ten. But yeah, I guess I didn't, I didn't do too bad. I'm, I'm swimming in fabric now, though. Can I tell you all a crazy story that I heard from someone at um, Joann's? So one day I was at the cutting table at Joann's, and, you know, I was buying a whole bunch of fabric, and someone else actually was standing at the table, but she had tons of fabric. And so I was asking her how she stored her fabric because I was looking for potential solutions. And, oh no, who's this from? Oh, this is from um, Miss, yeah, D Dachi? Miss, Miss Dachi, I believe. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, okay, so this lady was buying a ton of fabric and I asked her what her actual storage solution was. And she said that she keeps them all in plastic bins now, but previously, in another house that she had lived in. She used to hang them over the beams in her basement, but she had so much fabric that it weighed down those beams and cracked one of them. That's a lot of fabric. <laughs> so I guess don't hang them on the beams in your anything. <laughs> so look at this dress. It has a little elasticated top here. Look at the pockets. <laughs> that makes you feel like less of a hoarder, Christine. <laughs> I think it makes a whole lot of people feel good. At least you didn't break your house with fabric. <laughs> Look at this cute one. And this fabric, it has a nice little gold sheen. <laughs> and then look, dragon fabric with the pockets. These are gorgeous. Thank you so much. And these have labels. Oh, we're getting, oh. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got nine more to go. Pam, they were adorable, weren't they? So this is from Oh, this is from T, um, from T Crumpets and from Crumpets T and Sewing. <laughs> um, I hope you guys watch her. She actually has a really good channel. She um, actually she shows a lot of fabrics. But look at these. It's funny because she had mentioned in um, her video about the, these dresses that she was actually considering having another child. <laughs> trying for a girl a little girl and her husband quickly cut that conversation short <laughs> but aren't these beautiful yeah I like teas I like tea a lot as well <laughs> and then we have this one with the floral fabric on the top oh Christine you're gonna be shocked when you see this final number that's all I'm saying. I'm not giving it away. And then we have, oh, uh, look at this one with the gold. Oh, thank you so much, T. I love these. And I believe all of these had labels on them. I'm going to put them in my check pile, actually. I think they did. <clears throat> this is from Miss Diana from Texas. Thank you for the card. 
Oh, look, this looks like another Sedona Patterns. Yeah. Hang on, let me. It has happy faces. Do you think? <laughs> and come on, I dare you not to smile. <laughs> it's like impossible, right? <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, this needs a label. And then this one is from Miss Pam um, from Ohio. You all, she did an embroidery on this dress. Hang on, let me open this up so I can show it to you. So that's what it looks like from far. And then she has the little pockets right in there. But look at the embroidery that she did. A little floral embroidery on the front. Isn't that sweet? Oh, that's gonna be a nice dress. It is a nice dress. It's gonna be well loved. And it has a label. Envelopes are tamper proof. So, this is from Miss Diana. Oh, I already said Miss Diana in Ohio. You know, it's um, I really do love seeing all of the different dresses come in in person because. All of the like little things about the fabrics are just, wait, I think she has a question here. Look at, look at this fabric. Sometimes there's like all of this like extra sparkle and like fabrics just look so extra amazing in person. And you can't, you can tell a little bit that it's sparkly, but isn't that beautiful? Yes. You all are funny too, because I get all these um, notes saying I'm not computer savvy. Please, 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 please include my pictures. <laughs> you guys are so funny. I will, I will try that. Honestly, I will try to incorporate as many pictures as I can. Um, it, it, it's, I, I got so many pictures of dresses, you all, that at one point the collage that I was putting them all into decided that it was not accepting any more pictures. Can you believe that? Okay, so look at this box, by the way. <laughs> it's really fun, like radiate positivity, be kind to one another. <laughs> this is a fun box. This is from Miss Denise. Miss Denise from California. You know, um, another, <laughs> another, oh, Kendra's on. Hi, Kendra. Another idea that I had for people who, um, who don't really sew, um, along with the underwear was perhaps they could donate. And I would, I would have to run this by dresser girl, but I was thinking perhaps they could even donate long sleeve shirts because 
in winter, when they get requests, they'll give a long sleeve shirt, maybe even tights. Tights might be a good one, um, you know, for children who are in colder areas. Look at how beautiful this is. And these all have, look, these all have matching headbands stuffed into the pockets. Look at that pocket though. How cute is that? <laughs> hey Stitch Treasures, you know, whenever you get around to them. Dress a girl around the world accepts dresses year round. We'll be doing Project Dress a Girl next September, but you can always donate to Project Dress a Girl if you'd like. More cherry fabric. I, I really love that all of these include little headbands. You all, if you like the headbands, give the video a thumbs up. <laughs> Show both of us some love. <laughs> I'm stealing her thunder, aren't I? <laughs> look at the, look at that little, what is that? A kangaroo pocket? Yep. How cute. Oh, look at this fabric, you all. It's like little rainy rain boots and umbrellas, raindrops, but with the cherry yellow on it. So a lot of you all actually applied like this ruffle trim onto a lot of your garments. And honestly, it's something I've actually never seen before. Um, is that something that you can get at Joann's or like Hobby Lobby, any, any store like that? I really like it. And then there's this one with the hearts. How sweet. Huh. I'll have, to, I'll have to look for it. Maybe I've just never paid attention to it before. Look at that yellow lace on the pockets. Your mom had it forever. Well, maybe I should be careful and only buy it for projects then because that's the last thing I need is lace forever. <laughs> that's the last thing I need. And then look, she actually included a little t-shirt with this one. Is with the BTY trim. What's BTY trim? Oh, by the yard. <laughs> Thank you. And then here's another one, a little pink. Yeah, the ruffle trim is a great idea. Hobby Lobby has it too. I must have never just paid attention to it, really. Look how cute that is. Oh, hi, Crystal. I'm happy you joined in. And then here's another one with cats. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it cute with the little t-shirts? That was really that was really thoughtful of her to include t-shirts. And then she also included a couple of onesies. Isn't that sweet? <sighs> Look, isn't that sweet? Um, again, for those of you who didn't catch it the first time, my ambassador does accept um, additional clothing and she'll ship them out to and like she packs whole suitcases and they go out in suitcases so she'll include a couple of those in there when they go to orphanages this one is from Puerto Rico Miss Natalie so I'm assuming that this is one of the Sita Now Patterns dresses Let's see. Oh, maybe a lot of them. Wow. Okay. Yep. Look at that. Ooh, what's in the pocket? Oh. There are little face masks in the pocket for the little girls. So this is, um, this is not a seat in a patterns one. Still extra cute. So look, a lot of disposable face masks. That's kind. And then look at this floral one. <laughs> is that a rose or a lollipop? It, it must be a rose, but <laughs> I love it. You know, this, um, yes, this project has actually been a big project of love for me. 
Um, and it's, I, I constantly tell people, although we're blessing so many other children and really like doing something great and uplifting them, I also feel like for me, myself, and I know that a lot of you all have also felt like this has been such a good experience in your life, you know, doing good for others. Um, and hopefully it's brought, it's opened the pathway for you to receive your own blessings as well. Um, I, I really do believe that. Look at this one. <laughs> I love the play with the stripes. And the chevron, I would have never thought to do this together, but look how adorable that is. I'm going to have to make sure to put these back in the Ziplocs because they have face masks. And then there's the little sundress. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> you guys are amazing yeah you know I'd, I'd love to hear I'd love to hear if there was like a like special kind of if if there was something in particular that happened to you all while you were making the dresses like something really wonderful happened that was kind of out of the norm I'd like to know so this package is from Miss Dara from Virginia That card flew at me. Look at that. And it's got like, I don't know, what is that, zebra, tree print? I don't know. Hi, Nitty from Cleveland. <laughs> Welcome. I love this color. I, if you guys don't know, I know I'm wearing black and white, but woo wee. These bright colors make my day. Look at that one. The beautiful floral print in that. <laughs> Hi, Kendra. Your dresses were enough. <laughs> they were enough. More than enough. Okay, so this one is from Lawrence from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Vex, you are funny. <laughs> your husband got to see you using your stash. <laughs> oh, thank you for sharing that. I think that was from Julie. Um, you know, sometimes sewing can be a really good distraction. I found that um, through some of my most difficult times, like there was a point a couple years back where I went through a pretty bad depression and um, sewing actually helped pull me out of that. So, oh, it was Jody. I'm sorry I'm, if I ruined your, if I messed up your name. But yeah, I do. I do really feel like sewing can be so healing. So I'm happy it was able to help you. Oh my gosh! I just I was chatting and I have no idea where I put the envelope for this one. I'm so sorry. If, if you're watching this video and these are your dresses, please let us know. I, I've, I've, got, I've got a mess of packages. I, I'm sorry. Um, but thank you for the dresses. <laughs> Look how cute they are. With the little ruffles on them. They're beautiful. And they have labels. Oh, look, this one has little girls on the pocket. Isn't that cute? And then the elephants. <laughs> it was fun to dig through the stash. <laughs> it is fun to dig through the stash. And then look at this one with the little lions. This is a little knit dress. I'm sure they'll find a special girl to send that to. And these all have labels. I think we're down to our last box. So this one is from 
Devin. <laughs> Drum roll, yes! This one is from Devin from Maryland. And... Like this one looks like stained glass almost. It's so cute. Oh look, did she put the label on the um, sleeve? Uh, I, I'm sorry, Devin, if I'm me messing up your pronouns, I, I apologize. Um, but look at that. And it has me located base too. Oh, some child is really gonna love that. It has beautiful shaping. And then look at this, look, ooh. Thank you. Look at that. The box was from Cheryl Lawrence from Texas. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Cheryl. Oof, I felt bad when I, yeah, I felt bad, okay? <laughs> but I love your dresses. And then look at this one. This one has that matching pocket. Beautiful. Okay, you all, so I think that was all 26 of the packages. I have no idea how many dresses it was. It, it was a lot, <laughs> but they're absolutely amazing. Thank you, everyone. My next steps are I'm going to be sewing on labels, and then I'm also going to try to photograph as many of these that are missing um, from photos that were submitted, and I'll try to get them included into the actual video on Sunday, the, the final wrap-up video. Um, no guarantees, though, you know, because it, it's a lot of work. <laughs> but thank you, thank you, thank you. You all have helped me bless so many children. Um, we have, as a community, thank you so much, Delilah, thank you. As a community, we have made such a huge difference. And really, like, I can't wait to tell you all how many dresses we've gotten because you're going to be shocked on Sunday. I mean, my heart, it, it just erases just thinking about how many little girls we're going to be clothing. So until Sunday, I hope you all find joy and have a wonderful day. I'll catch you then. Bye, everyone. <laughs>